Jim, cylinder squares. Now think about that. How is a cylinder square? I mean, it's, it's either a cylinder or it's a square. What they really mean by that, of course, is that it's square this way, obviously, but I just think it's an interesting play on words. So this particular cylinder square right here that you see, I made this when I was a toolmaker many, many years ago. I don't even want to talk about how many years ago, but uh, this was an interesting project because I started out with a piece of tubing because I, I didn't want it to be too heavy. I carried it around in my toolbox and made the tubing, bored a hole in the back edge and the front edge here, made a plate for it, put a plug in it, turned it on a lathe, turned it all over, sent it out and uh, got it heat treated and brought it back and uh, ground it, rough ground it, and then we sent it out and had it uh, uh, dipped in liquid nitrogen, which uh, stabilizes it again. Brought it back and then we ground it all over again and squared up the edges. Well, how do you make it square and how do you know that it's really square? And that's what I want to show you because we put, we put the lapping plate on it, which by the way, normally we don't keep it here, but we did it for the purposes of this demonstration so it would be convenient for us to use. So let's go over to this one. This one is a cylinder square made by Taft Pierce, which of course we make, but the whole purpose here is to show you how you get a cylinder square square. So if you look at the indicator here, which I think we've got another, we have another picture up there, don't we, Jim? We do. All right, so on that other camera, you can see I've got zero here. Now, what I want to do is mark this with a red crayon in four spots. One, two, three, four. And we'll move this around. And by the way, it tends to chatter like that when you're moving it around. I seem, It's almost impossible to prevent, but it doesn't hurt anything, but it just, it's just annoying. Anyway, we're going to come over here 180 degrees, and we're going to slide it in again and check it 180 from our first check. And... Now that's showing about two tenths off. I'm not happy with that. I'm not sure that we had a good set, a good, uh, a good reading there. So I want to do this again, and we'll check that again. Oh, it's off about a tenth. So a tenth within what is that about? 12 inches, I'm guessing. Not bad. So that's 50 millions a side, you know, because you've got double your error there, right? You got a tenth total, so it's off 50 millions. Is it perfect? No, but it's pretty damn close. So let's go this way and check it over here. And you might say, well, how are we going to fix that? Uh, we'll show you that. All right, that's showing zero. And we're going to go 180 to that one. I never like that, but. It's almost impossible to avoid. So we'll check it here. And we got the same thing. We're off about a tenth. So it's not per So how do we fix that? Well, the high side appears to be over here. So let's assume on this one that the high side were here on the bottom. I would then put it on the lapping plate gently and I would push on one side and work it back and forth until I feel that I've taken off 50 millionths or whatever it might be. It's not going to take much. And I'm not going to put the lapping compound on there because we've already done that. But you can either dry lap or wet lap. And in this case, we're kind of in between. But dry lapping is all you really need for removing a few millionths. And that's the way I would do it. So that would set it up. And I wiped the bottom, by the way. You probably didn't see that, Jim, but I did wipe it. Keep everything clean. Wipe with your hand. And slide. So that's how we would correct a cylinder square if it's off a tenth or two, one way or another. Again, check four sides. Determine which side is high. Mark it. Take it over in a lapping plate. Give it a couple of swipes. Come back and check it again. You'd be surprised to take off. Uh, you know, when you're checking up here 12 inches away, uh, based on about a 4-inch diameter, you're probably only going to take off a less than 20, 30 millionths. 
to make that change. Because remember, if you're off a tenth, you're really only off 50 millionths on each side. So that's the trick to checking a cylinder square and to getting it back in square in the event that it's not. So thanks for watching.